Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In this video, we are going to model the protected flange coupling. The protected flange coupling has 5 parts. So we are going to start with the shaft. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new and create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch. Draw a circle of diameter 50 mm. Go to features, click extruded bars. The extrude length is not given, so I am keeping a length of 100 mm. Now select the surface, click sketch. So use Ctrl 8 to view it in the normal direction. Now click convert entities. Now you can see that we have converted a line from the previous sketch to this sketch. Now select rectangle. Select a center rectangle, start a rectangle and finish it like it coincides with the outside circle. Now go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. Go to smart dimension, the height of the rectangle is 5 mm, the width is 14 mm. So click control, select the center of the rectangle and the origin and make it as vertical. Now go to features, click extruded cut and cut this to a length of 80 mm. Now the shaft material is given as MS, so I am applying plain carbon steel. Now save this as part number 1. Close this. Now click new, create a new part. Select the right plane, click sketch. So I'm going to revolve the flange. So I'm starting from the center. Then I'm modeling the cut section. So go to smart dimensions and mark all the dimensions. So the inside circle radius is 25 mm as the diameter is 50 mm. The outside circle radius is given as 208 in diameter, so it is 208 by 2. Then the distance between these two edges is given as 196 by 2. Then from the hub diameter, it is 96 by 2. And the overall thickness of the protected flange is given as 44 and the thickness of the protected flange is given as 20 mm. Then from the protected edge to the hub the distance is 30 mm. Now click control select the origin and select the edge of the hub and make it as vertical. Now the drawing is fully constrained so draw a center line so that we can revolve it. Go to features click revolve boss click ok now select the surface click sketch draw two circles so the pitch circle diameter is given as 146 mm and click the circle and make it as for construction similarly go to smart dimension and the whole diameter it is given as 16 mm. Go to features, click extruded cut, choose through all. Okay. Now go to linear pattern and circular pattern. Now the features to pattern select the hole and the direction select any one of the circular surface. Number of entities are 4, it is already defined, click OK. Next I am going to create the key slot, select the surface, click sketch, select rectangle and draw a center rectangle, go to smart dimension, the height is 4 mm, sorry it is 5 mm and the width of the rectangle is given as 14 mm. 
click control select the center point and the origin and make it as vertical go to features click extruder cut select through all both click ok now select the surface click sketch and draw a circle of diameter 96 mm go to features click extruded cut and cut this for 5 mm now right click on the material and choose cast iron now save this as part number 2 so in the part number 2 select the cut extrude click delete select this uh, sketch click edit sketch now go to features click extruded bars and extrude this to a thickness of 3 mm okay so click the bars extrude drag it and draw it after the circular pattern so now we have already created the key slot so we have to cut a circular hole so select the surface click sketch draw a circle of diameter 50 mm go to features click extruded cut select through all both now save this as part number 3 close this next I am going to draw the bolt click new create a new part select the front plane click sketch draw a hexagon of inside circle diameter 32 to extrude and extrude this to a thickness of 16 mm now select the surface click sketch draw a circle of diameter 16 mm now go to extruded bars and extrude this to a thickness of I mean length of 68 mm so actually the proper dimensions are not given for the bolt and nut so based on the flange dimensions I have derived these dimensions click OK now go to hole wizard click thread select the starting phase and in the end condition go to blind and I have selected the thread length as 20 mm so here we are going to cut the thread click ok right click on the material and apply plain carbon steel now save this as part number 4.1 now in the bolt click the thread and delete it Similarly, click the boss extrude and choose delete. Now click the sketch and choose edit sketch. Go to features, click extruded cut and choose through all both. Okay. Now go to hold wizard thread. Select the starting edge. Now in the end condition, choose up to selection and select the end face. So here we are going to extrude the thread. So trim with the start face, trim with the end face, click OK. Now save this as part number 4.2. So the last part is key. Click new, create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch and draw the side view of the key. I'm drawing a reference line to mark the angle so go to smart dimension the length of the key is given as 76 the height is given as 10 mm so click this and drag it here so then we so that we can mark the dimensions go to smart dimension select the reference line and the top surface so actually the slope is given as 1 is to 100 so it is around 0 0.57 degree 
So select the reference line and make it as construction line. Go to features, click extruded bus and extrude this to a thickness of 14 mm. I click on the material and choose plain carbon steel. Now save this as part number 5. Now I am going to assemble it. Click new, create new assembly. So I am starting with part number 2. Next go to insert component and insert part number 3. Rotate this with respect to Y. Now go to mate, select the two mating phases, choose coincident mate, click OK. Then the holes in both the flanges, click OK. Similarly, the bolt hole of both the flanges and choose concentric. Next go to insert component, insert shaft. So to make the assembly easy, click the flange and hide this. Now go to mate, select the outside circumference of the shaft and the hole. Now click coincident mate. Similarly choose these two surfaces and choose coincident mate. Then select the side faces of the key slot and click coincident mate. Next go to insert component, choose part number 5 that is the key. So rotate this with respect to Y, go to mate, select the bottom faces and choose coincident mate, similarly select the front faces and choose coincident, similarly choose the side faces and choose coincident mate okay now go to linear component pattern choose mirror component so mirror plane select the shaft surface and components to mirror select both the shaft and the key and click ok so now we have created the mirror right click on the flange and choose show components now go to insert component and insert component number 4.1 so I am rotating with respect to Y go to mate select the circumference of the screw and the hole and make it as concentric mate similarly select the two mating surfaces and choose coincident mate now go to insert component insert component number 4.2 now go to mate, select the circular edge of the nut and the circular edge of the bolt and make it as concentric. So you can select the circular edge of the bolt on any one side. Similarly select the two mating surfaces and click coincident mate. Now go to Linear circular pattern, choose circular pattern, direction, choose any one of the circular surface, components to pattern, select the bolt and the nut and the number of entities are 4, click OK. So now we have completed the modeling and assembly of protected flange coupling. Thank you.